From San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Samsung Developer Conference 2017. Brought to you by Samsung. Hey, welcome back everyone. This is theCUBE's exclusive live coverage of Samsung Development Conference, SDC 2017. I'm John Furrier, the founder, co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media, co-host of theCUBE. My next guest is Kevin Haig, Vice President of Technology Strategy at Harman, now part of Samsung. His, has, his uh, Twitter handle is JSGuy. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thank so you So Harman you. has a lot of cool things. Obviously, you're known for music, audio, in-car stuff, headphones, um, really the premier audio tech. Yes, yeah. So, so give us the update, part of Samsung. When did that happen? What have you guys done? Have you integrated in? Obviously the edge of the network is entertainment. <laughs> it is these days and it seems like uh, more and more people are becoming interested in, in audio. Audio is becoming you know, um, uh, a big part of everybody's lives. Everybody with, will have headphones at work, um, uh, connected devices at home uh, with AIs and voice assistants. Uh, in their car, you know, we're, we're huge in the car. A uh, huge percentage of our uh, uh, automotive business is uh, in audio and uh, infotainment IVI systems. And uh, we're really excited to be here at the Samsung Developer Conference yeah. because this is our first conference kind of together and we're excited to show off a lot of cool uh, developer tech. So we're huge on Internet of Things. I've been saying this for years, but now it's so clear to the developer community that Internet of Things includes people. Wearables, we had uh, guests on doing dresses that are part of the internet and technology with robotic arms and software. But headphones, you guys have a cool program called Hack Your Headphones. Yes, we which, do. Tell a little bit about that and then we'll talk about this new product that's here sure. on the desk I can't wait to get to. But and we have a couple of new products. Hack Your Headphones, yep. I mean, get, you got to get developers excited because that's right. augmented reality and virtual reality, no one wants to put those damn goggles on it's got no audio. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so we're trying to fix that with this uh, particular product which is the JBL Everest Elite uh, headphones. And it's a uh, probably one of the first consumer uh, hackable headphones. Uh, we have an API uh, out for Android that allows a developer to control many of the features and functions of this um, this uh, headphone. And we've added a lot of extra features. So this thing, not only when you put it on and you're wearing uh, virtual uh, VR goggles, you're um, you know you're immersed, right? and you don't even know what's going on in the outside world. Well, we've come up with some tech that allows some of the outside world to come in programmatically. So within a game or a VR game or a VR a application, you can do something where um, the, uh, the, the outside noise can be added into the gameplay. So let's say if you're um, playing uh, Fruit Ninja or something uh, really crazy on your, your VR goggles, uh, and you're about to hit somebody, it could warn you uh, through audio signals. Uh, yeah. So we're really excited about these headphones. Um, lots of other features the that key developers the would like. So let's talk about the API, because this is a really mm -hmm. cool feature. And I want to get to that again, the new yep. thing, new device that's, that's coming right. out, this new breaking news here in the Cube, which is this. these headphones is about, you guys have the normal coolness around, noise canceling, all that stuff, but you guys have tech that actually lets developers play with the settings. That's right. So you can actually reverse the settings, right? Like, Imagining yes. like, okay, what if I want to increase the noise out That's right. that comes in? That's right, is that, and is so, that the so we, can, uh, we can adjust, uh, the developers can adjust uh, almost an infi in infinite levels, uh, the noise ratio from outside to inside. So if you want it perfectly quiet, you can set that. If you want it where a lot of outside noise is coming in, you can adjust that as well without having to do this to talk to somebody. You yeah. know, which so almost is, tap your phone, tap your mm -hmm. app, or have some notifications, yeah. sensing, those kind of, So you're looking for creativity from the developer community. We, That's the objective. We are, and, and we actually don't know what developers are going to do. I always have a, a saying that says, if I put 10 of my smartest guys in a room for a week, they're going to come up with 100 right. ideas. If I throw this out to the developer community, they're going to come up with 1,000 ideas. Yeah. And I think that's what we're looking for, is that kind of creative spark, and we're just going to give them a platform yeah. to do that on. And that's super smart, because now you can let the creative development community yeah. tinker around, kick the tires, you guys get the free access to the that's creative, right. but also you have yes. APIs that make that's it right. kind of stable. That, that's right, and, and that's something that we support, and yeah. we, we love developers to play with. All right, so now you have a new product. So this is the this is yep. exclusive cube coverage. So let's see yes. this new product. Actually, we just unboxed this right before coming on yeah. on set. Yeah, let me let me introduce this thing. So this is looks like a collar, goes around your neck. So what is first of all, what's the product name? So this is a JBL uh, Sound Gear, 
and uh, it's going to be available starting next month. So this is, as far as I know, the first one in the United States. I, I'm, I'm not, I can't say that for sure, but that's the first one I've seen in the United States. So it looks like and one of those uh, old football collars, but you put it around like this, and it allows for music to come up only to my ears, right? Yep, So actually, right. let's turn on the music, and then they'll actually get to hear it through my, head, my little headset here. Yeah, we'll just throw something on. There's a little, yes. that's kind of cranked up, actually. Okay, so and this is cranked uh, up. Can you hear this? Yeah. Just a little bit. So he, yeah. So he can barely hear this. I'm like talking loud. Like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. This, that's right because so it's the, pretty loud to you. So I could be a gamer. I could be doing virtual reality with a headset. This is kind of like my ear experience without and freeing my arms up. Yeah, that's right. And the nice thing is we're looking in the future and saying augmented reality type experiences are going to be important. But with augmented reality, you want that kind of pass through. Yeah. So I want to be able to talk to you while you have your glasses on or whatever the future So I can get a little us. notification, bing, That's you right. got this, car coming, yes. or I'm about or to be interfaces. attacked by my app. That's right. <laughs> yeah, imagine walking down the street. Now you could listen to your music while walking down the street and not worry about Pissing getting people hit by off. a car or something. <laughs> or pissing yeah. people off. Yeah, hey, right, turn right. your headphones that's on. That's right, yes, yes, that's or right. Or having some ambient noise coming in so I'm aware. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's cool. And, and so that's a really exciting so it's not product. Yet flexible. Cool. Yeah, it's a little bit, um, uh, you know, so I think a lot of people put it on from the side and twist it around, but it's it's actually a pretty solid product. And we're, uh, you know, it's a, it's a transformative product. There's yeah. nobody else shipping anything like this. Yeah. That, so uh, it has that a little of. bit of wiggle, but it's not. You could break it if you snap it. Like, yeah, oh, if you like a chicken bone. You know, <laughs> yeah, like, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> as far as I know, the it's the only one in the United States. <laughs> you're so. Throw it too. It's like you know, horseshoes. You know, you're, you're <laughs> it does have other it, uses. You know? Yes, we, we we made it multi. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't multi toss. It's not horseshoes. Yes, um, that's awesome. And you got a little power here, but also now that's we're right. talking. Also, the, the problem with some of these devices is uh, on watching TV or interfacing with a large screen. There's latency issues and you know, people are talking and you're hearing it separately. A lot of internet streamings we see that, it's not like direct connected. Yes. Talk about that, how does that address that? Does it have a feature where you could uh, create a low latency connection to something that's either on the internet or sure. TV? So there's a couple of different ways. So like audio, you know, latency is very important, especially if you're watching TV and lip sync, you know, it's always yeah. weird if you get that delay. Yeah, it's and, horrible. And uh, so that's why we uh, actually uh, pair with this in the box comes a yeah. low latency transmitter. So it's plug and play, plug in your TV, uh, turn on this, it pairs up. You know, now you can watch TV seamlessly in the house yeah. without disturbing like everybody, yeah. you know. I can watch uh, my football Atlantic. games, make That's some right. dinner, lunch, whatever. Or even late night TV, calls. somebody's asleep uh, in the same room as, as you and, and uh, yeah. it won't disturb them, right? My wife Linda, Linda if you're watching, this is perfect to <laughs> save our marriage, turn the TV <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. not that, but it, yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll be a first step, but this is exactly the use That's case. Right. Create a personal space, and the technology is it shoots up from the sides. Yeah, there's two speakers on each side. And it shoots up to the ear, so it comes up this That's way. That's right, and, and we do a lot of work to make sure that that uh, beam of sound stays in the vertical uh, space. So that uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of people can't uh, hear it from yeah. outside maybe three feet. Literally, when you first put it on, I couldn't even tell it was working, and I was going, can you hear it? And you're like, oh, it's loud, you know? Yeah, and, and, so. and the folks listening heard it too, because my microphone was right there. That's right, yes. <laughs> and, and that's the, the side effect is, in this area here, you have full Okay, so this product will be awareness. shipped, and it's called the? JBL <laughs> Sound Gear. Sound Gear, it's available yeah. next month, Next in month, Best Buy retail. Uh, Best Buy retail, MSRP, I think, is going to be 249 which includes some accessories, right? It includes a couple of accessories like the uh, streaming uh, unit and everything. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. So it's not its not going to break the bank at all. I don't think so. Good. Yeah, well, so that's a good price point. I mean, I'm definitely going to buy one. It's, it's definitely different. It's yeah. not like just a, a regular pair of headphones. And, you know, uh, yeah. the This is also available in the stores today, yeah. uh, the 750. So, um, and how about this being developer enabled? APIs for this too, or not yet? Not, not yet, but stay <laughs> tuned. Yeah, so this is, a, yeah. this is the total Star Trek device. It is. You know. If you're, if you're a Star Trek classic fan like me, you know the thrall <laughs> collars, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, and then certainly, I can use, it's got voice in there too, so I can talk to it. That's like right, on you, conference could do, calls. you could do a conference call with it, or. Uh, Have intercommunications with um, um, right. gameplay, multiplayer. That's right. So yeah, I mean, I think gamers are going to love this. I, I, I think mean, so too. Yeah, my, my son plays uh, Call of Duty and Destiny. Uh, and it's Destiny. very comfortable to wear. Iron. I think that's one of the yeah. key things, is once you get it on, it feels like, a, if yeah. in, 
uh, when, when I've tried uh, some of our early prototypes of it, I, didn't, I forgot that I was even wearing it. Yeah. I can listen to the cube music while talking to the guests. Too, I know, we know? need to get you one of these. We'll, we'll get you one soon. Promotional so consideration this. by <laughs> Samsung. <laughs> That's right. Kevin, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks. Great tunes, old school classics. Yeah, just yeah, crank it up a little bit more. We'll end on, end on some music. All right. Crank it. Kevin Haig, Vice President of Technology at Harman. Samsung, bringing all the developer action to you here, theCUBE. Thanks for having me. All right, more after this short break. <laughs>